The Nageshvara Chenakeshava Temple Complex also spelt Najasvara and Chenakasava is an elegant example of Hoysala architecture of the early 12th century. It is located in the village of Masale, about 10 km from Hassan City, in Hassan district of Karnataka state, India. The temple was built in 1200 AD during the reign of Hoysala king Veera Balala II. According to art historian Gerard Fokema, the two temples that are built in the same complex, in an idyllic rural setting, form a perfect twin. This temple complex is protected as a monument of national importance by the Archaeological Survey of India. Architecture By plan, the temples are simple single shrine structures with all the standard features of Hoysala architecture, a porch entrance into a square closed mantapa or navaranga hall with no windows and a thick wall leading to the sanctum, and a superstructure shikara over the main shrine fitting the description of a ekakuta single shrine with top. The sanctum garvagriha is connected to the hall by a vestibule called sukarnasi. The closed hall, whose inner and outer walls are decorated, has four central lathe turned pillars that support a bay ceiling. The temples are constructed next to each other. The Nageshvara Temple, lit. Lord of Snakes, dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, represented by his universal symbol, the Linga, is in the south. The Chenakishava Temple, lit. Beautiful Vishnu, dedicated to a standing cult image of the Hindu god Vishnu, is to the north. Since all features are replicated in the temples, Gerard Fokema considers the Ensambula di Vikuta two shrines with two towers, the superstructure tower or shikara over each shrine is three-tiered and vasara in style. It is intact, finely sculptured and has a decorative low extension which is actually the tower over the vestibule that connects the cellar sanctum and the hall. The extension tower looks like the nose of the main superstructure and is also called Sukarnasi. The Sukhanasi structure holds the beautiful Hoysala crest that depicts a royal warrior stabbing a lion. At the top of the superstructure of the shrine is a helmet, like sculptured dome Amalaka, whose ground surface area can be 2 by 2 meters. It is the largest piece of sculpture in the temple. The Amalaka supports a decorative water pot-like structure called the Kalasha which is the apex of the tower. All these features are intact in both temples. The decorative features found on the temple outer wall, horizontal treatment, belong to the old kind. In this type of decorations, below the superstructure, an eaves that projects about half a meter runs all around the temple. Below the eaves are decorative miniature towers, adicula, on pilasters. In the old kind, the large wall images of deities and their attendants are placed below these decorative towers. Some of these images appear damaged, but there are others that require special mention for their elegance and art. The panel images at the Nageshvara temple have their names on their pedestals. Some of these are images of Sri Devi, Lakshmi Devi, Gauri, Maheshvari another name for Parvati, Brahma, Sadashiva form of Shiva and Bhuma Devi representation of Mother Earth. The Chanakishava temple has sculptures of Garuda, the eagle, Kashava, a form of Vishnu, Janardana, Venagopala, Madhava, a form of Krishna, and Budevi. Below these images, the base of the wall comprises five different horizontal moldings, one of which is a row of blocks. Topic Gallery. Equals equals notes. <laughs>